Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Carrasco again. Um, again, I found a bunch of books in my garage as I was looking for new things to read to you guys. And I happened to come across one of my favorites when I was little. Um, it's called Benji and the Barking Bird. I, we do not have this in my library. It was copy uh, written in 1971. That's how old it is, but I'm old so I have old books. And it's by Margaret Bloy Graham. And this was one of my favorite stories that I would make my mom and dad read to me all the time. So I wanted to share it with you guys. So it's Benji and the Barking Bird. Benji was a brown dog with long ears and a short tail. He loved everybody in his family, mother, father, Linda, and Jimmy, and they all loved him. He was a happy dog until he heard the words, Tomorrow, Aunt Sarah is coming for a visit, and she's bringing Tilly. Tilly was Aunt Sarah's parrot. When Tilly was there, Benji's family always fussed over her and never paid any attention to him. That made Benji jealous. The moment Aunt Sarah arrived, she said, Come on, Tilly, show them your new trick. Say, Bow Wow, sweetheart. Bow Wow, Bow Wow, squawked Tilly. Gee, said Jimmy, Tilly can bark better than Benji. Benji couldn't stand it. He went out into the backyard. He decided not to come into the house again until that awful parrot was gone. He could still hear her, bow wow, bow wow, bow wow. Tilly barked so long and so loud that all the dogs in the neighborhood came running. Soon the backyard was full of barking dogs. They made so much noise that Benji's ears hurt. Father came to the door and shouted, get out of here. For goodness sake, be quiet, Tilly, said Aunt Sarah. I don't know what's gotten into that bird. She's been contrary all spring. Linda, dear, said mother, put Tilly up in Aunt Sarah's room so we can have a piece and quiet for lunch. Benji was still outside, more jealous than ever. Suddenly, he had an idea. While the family was chatting at lunch, he sneaked into the house, past the dining room and up to Aunt Sarah's room. Tilly was asleep, tired out from her barking. Carefully, Benji picked up her cage and brought it out to the backyard. He was just lifting it into the trash barrel when the handle of the cage door caught on the edge. The door sprang open and Tilly escaped. Off she flew to the big maple tree right into a flock of sparrows. In a flash, Tilly and the sparrows flew away. Benji just stood there stunned. Then all at once, he felt happy. Tilly was gone. Quickly, he hid the cage in the trash barrel and ran into the house. After lunch, Aunt Sarah went to her room and right away she ran out screaming, Tilly's gone. Everyone began talking at once. Impossible, no, where did she go? Finally, father said, don't worry, we'll find her. So the whole family set out to look for Tilly, except Aunt Sarah. She was too upset to go. She even began to cry. Benji was watching her. He'd been so happy that Tilly was gone and now he felt miserable. He'd rather have her back. Maybe she had come back. He ran to the maple tree, but no Tilly. He looked for her everywhere, but no Tilly. All he could see were a few sparrows flying around the roof of the house. Meanwhile, the family searched for Tilly all over town, but they could not find her. It's getting late, father said finally. Let's go home. We'll put an ad in the paper tonight, and tomorrow we'll start out early and take Benji with us. Next morning, when everyone was having breakfast, Benji ran in barking furiously. Stop it, Benji, said mother. You'll remind Aunt Sarah of Tilly. But Benji kept on barking, and then he ran up the stairs. Go and see what he's up to, children, said father. The children ran after Benji. Father, mother, they called from the attic, come quick. Father, mother, and Aunt Sarah dashed up. There was Benji barking at the window. And there was Tilly right outside. 
She was flying around with a twig in her beak. Tilly, cried Aunt Sarah, what are you doing? She's helping a sparrow build a nest, said Linda. That's what birds do in the spring. She never did that before, said Aunt Sarah. Tilly, please come in. Aunt Sarah tried and tried to get Tilly to come inside. She tried with sunflower seeds, hard-boiled eggs, apples, and coaxing. But it was no use. Tilly did not pay any attention. She and the sparrow kept bringing more and more twigs and pieces of string. There was now a big nest under the eaves. We'll have to ask the fire department to catch Tilly, said Father. In all the excitement, nobody noticed that Benji had disappeared. An hour later, the phone rang. It was Mr. Jones, the man from the pet store. Your little dog is here, he said, and he won't go home. I'll send the children to get him, said Father. When Linda and Jimmy got to the pet store, there was Benji, staring up at a parrot. I don't know why, said Mr. Jones, but he keeps looking at Sparky. He seemed to want that parrot. I bet I know why Benji wants him, said Jimmy. Me too, said Linda. Please, Mr. Jones, let us take, take Sparky home. Meanwhile, the ladder truck of the fire department had arrived. The ladder was being raised to the attic window. A fireman with a net climbed up. Here, Tilly, here, Tilly, he called. The grown-ups watched eagerly. No one had noticed that the children were back with Benji and Sparky. No one, that is, except Tilly. From the roof, she made a beeline for Sparky's cage, sat right in front of it, and cooed and cooed. It was love at first sight. Linda opened the cage door, and Tilly flew straight in. Why, Tilly's been lonely, said Aunt Sarah. I've never thought of that. How wonderful you children were to get her a friend. Oh, that was Benji's idea, said Jimmy. Then everyone began talking at once. How clever he is, a real bird dog, almost human. Benji just stood there wagging his tail. This time, oop, skip the page. <clears throat> Next spring when Aunt Sarah came for a visit, she came alone. I left Tilly and Sparky with a bird sitter, she said. They're so happy together. Look what I brought you, she went on, and she pulled out a photograph. That's Tilly sitting on an egg. Show it to Benji too, said Jimmy. Of course, said Aunt Sarah. Why, Benji's the one who started it all. This time Benji really enjoyed Aunt Sarah's visit. She took him for a walk every day and always bought him a special snack at the butcher's. And from then on, Benji was Aunt Sarah's favorite dog and Aunt Sarah was Benji's favorite aunt. The end. Benji and the Barking Bird.